This is going to be a detailed tutorial on how to set up and configure your new Raspberry Pi. Configuring and setting up your Raspberry Pi is very important to its life and usability. So I recommend watching this whole video to get the whole idea of the process. Thank you for your cooperation in watching this video. The things you need for the setup of your Raspberry Pi is a HDMI monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, a Raspberry Pi, a 5 volt 1 amp micro USB power adapter, and an Ethernet connection. Make sure you also have a Mac and a 2GB to 4GB SD card. There are many different OS's for your Raspberry Pi. On the Raspberry Pi website, there are supported OS's such as Raspbian Wheezy, the original Raspbian Debian OS. There's also Softfloat, which you're definitely not going to use, Arch Linux, ARM, and RISC OS. There are, there's also RAS BMC, a media center OS. This will not let you do word processing, email, but it will let you watch Netflix and YouTube and get weather reports. RAS BMC Wheezy and RAS BMC are the two OS's that I recommend. I recommend on RAS BMC you use the network image or the standalone image to download your OS. I will teach you how to upload your OS onto an SD card. If you don't like either of these, you might want to check out the list of operating systems, which I will include in the description. There is a long list of operating systems, but these operating systems might take more effort to get them working on your Raspberry Pi. I will also provide a link for RasBMC in the Raspbian Wheezy website, so you can download these. To install the OS onto your SD card, you are going to need an application. On Mac OS X, I recommend an app called PyFiller. It allows you to install the OS onto your SD card without any hassle. All you have to do is follow the directions and type in your password when prompted. For on a Windows computer, it's a little bit more difficult. You have to follow all these steps to do it. I will provide a link in the description with these steps so you can follow them and learn how to do it on a Windows computer. Next, I'm going to show you how to install the OS onto your SD card on a Mac. Now that you have downloaded the image file from a website, you have to put it on your SD card. This is a little bit of a more complicated process. Today I'm going to be putting RAS BMC onto a 2GB SD card. It'll fit fine on a 2GB SD card, but if you're using Raspbian, I recommend doing a 4GB SD card. So first, you have to go to your downloads folder and see if the RASBMC final.image.gz is there. This is a zip file. You need to unzip this file, so what you have to do is double click on it. That'll open this archive utility and it will expand this. Now that I have the image file, I have to open up my imager. I already told you that I prefer PyFiller, so that's what I'm going to use today. PyFiller will assist with copying a Raspberry Pi operating system available at blah blah blah.org to an SD card. If you have already attached your SD card to your Mac, please eject before continuing. Now we have to choose that RasBMC final image. So I'm going to click on it and choose it. Make sure you don't choose the, the zipped file, which would be the, the .gz or the .zip. Make sure you choose the image file. Please insert the SD card you want to use for the Raspberry Pi. As I said, it should be at least 2 gigabytes preferably 4 gigabytes, and it will be completely erased. They recommend you name your SD card Raspberry, but I don't really care because I already know what mine's called. I inserted it and I'm going to continue. It's looking for my SD card. My SD card's called Untitled. This is really my SD card, so I'm going to click Continue. 
You're about to erase your SD card and copy the Raspberry Pi operating system to it. This process may take 30 minutes or more. When it's done, Pi Filler will notify you. All I have to do is click Erase SD Card, type my password in, and wait. It'll give me an estimated time, and when that estimated time comes up, then all I have to do is wait, and when it's done, plug it into my Raspberry Pi and set it up. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. I'll compact you with the booting up and setting up of the Raspberry Pi. The next step after you have installed Debian or XBMC on your SD card is plugging all the cables in. So I'm going to plug in my HDMI cord. Then I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable into this back port. The little prong goes down. Then I'm going to plug in my keyboard into the back USB port and my mouse into the top one. You don't have to put them into the back and the top, it's just how I like to do it. Then, I'm going to leave the power cable until we boot it up. The boot, to boot the Pi up, I'm going to use my preferred operating system, Debian. I'm take the SD card out and insert it into the SD card slot on the front of my Raspberry Pi. Note that the SD card goes in with the prongs and these golden things faced up. Now that I have plugged the SD card in, I'm going to plug the power supply in. The lights will light up on the Raspberry Pi and you will get a multicolored screen. Then text will begin rolling down the screen. This is a long process and I will come back when it is ready. Now that the text has finished rolling down the screen, you might notice it says Raspberry Pi Login. The login is Pi, so you type that in. Then you wait a sec and password comes up. The password is Raspberry. It won't show up, but if you type it in right and click enter, text will start coming down the screen. Then you will see a dollar sign. Type in start X and click enter and wait to see what happens. The first time you start your Pi up, you will see the Raspi config menu. What you have to do is configure your Raspberry Pi. Most of the things you don't need, the things you might want to change is configure your keyboard, change the password for the Pi user, change your time zone, and overclock. Overclock is my favorite. You click enter and it says beware that overclocking may reduce the lifetime of your Raspberry Pi. You don't want to overclock too high. So for today I'm going to overclock it 800 megahertz, which is modest. Overclock, preset, modest. Also you can change your memory split, time zone, boot behavior, everything else. These aren't really necessary. The only ones that you probably definitely need to do is your time zone. If you want your password, you can overclock if you want and definitely configure your keyboard. When you first get your Pi, you're definitely going to want to uninstall and install some better apps. For example, I got rid of the web browser Midori and replaced it with Chromium. I'm going to teach you how to do this next. To do this, you're going to need to open your terminal, labeled LX Terminal. To install an app, you're going to type in sudo. You're probably going to need to type in sudo on the beginning of most terminal commands because it signifies you as a super user, or the king of this operating system. So to install an app, you're going to type in sudo apt dash get install and then the app you want to get. So for example to install the chromium web browser you're going to put sudo apt get install chromium dash browser. So that's what it's going to look like. Now let's say you install chromium but you really don't like Midori. 
and Chromium is taking a lot of space on your SD card, so you want to get rid of Midori. You're going to type in sudo apt-get purge, and then Midori, for example. You can also type in any other name you want for the app that you want to uninstall. Um, this is about it for the Raspbian operating system. So, after you're done with that, have fun. Now you need to get out of Raspbian, so how are you going to shut it down? It's a little hard. First you need to go to an empty terminal thing and type in sudo halt. Now why are you thinking why do you do this? I have no idea. All you have to do is type in sudo halt, click enter, it's going to say the system is going down for system halt now, and then you wait until it turns off. Then you can unplug the power in the SD card, and then I'm going to teach you how to do the RAS BMC system next. Now let's learn about the RAS BMC operating system. This is the media center operating system for a Raspberry Pi. There are many things you can do, such as videos, which opens up a whole new thing. Now, you're probably thinking, hey, I didn't install this with videos. Don't be worried. There's video add-ons. For example, I've already installed the YouTube add-on that let me watch his YouTube videos. There are many more add-ons, such as... Let it load. Vimeo, Netflix, I mean, really, all of these. I have no idea what half of them are. It's pretty crazy. The best thing to know is when you want to return home, press escape. It brings you right back. The coolest thing, I think, is the weather. This syncs off of Wi-Fi and gives you forecast information. It's going to give you some blank information until it connects to the internet, and then it will be updated. Like that. There you go. Um, there's also videos, music, pictures, and programs. The only program I have is RASBMC setup. Not really cool. Um, videos and music fall under the same chart that I showed you with like that YouTube thing. So it's basically really simple to use. Um, unlike Raz BMC, you actually you can turn it off like a normal person. Click the power button, power off system, and then wait and it turns off super fast. Then all you have to do is unplug the power cable and unplug the SD card and you're done.